Warning, this video contains super awesome content not suitable for people who don't enjoy super awesomeness. Hey, what's up, Yang Gang Yannick here. So the Season 5 Reloaded update is dropping later today and behind me is the roadmap for everything you need to know that's dropping this season. Today I'll be going into full details on when you can expect all this content and I'll also be sharing the patch notes and bug fixes which I know you guys are eagerly waiting on. But before we hop into it, if you guys end up liking today's video, make sure to drop a like and if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Warzone mobile content. Also, if you're excited for the new Season 5 Reloaded update dropping today, make sure to spam some flame emojis in the chat w's in the shot without further ado let's hop right into it all right guys so here we are this is the overview of everything that you can expect in warzone mobile this season as you guys can see they have a really cool picture right here and i'm pretty sure you guys have seen this picture a lot already but yeah this is their promo picture pretty cool pretty lit looking so exciting but yeah this is what we're here for guys we're just gonna go ahead and run through this quickly as possible okay so the first thing that they have here is a event store picture i think this is highlighting one of the event store operators that we'll be getting and also i don't know if you guys can see that but he has like a gun in his hand pretty cool looking character skin in my opinion but let me know what y'all think about that i'm pretty sure there's gonna be like at least four new events in this season so i'm looking forward to that gonna complete everything okay new modes arcade hype battle royale limited time mode so this is pretty much gonna be on rebirth island as it says here yeah drop back into rebirth island and spend your cash at the arcade machine so they're gonna have like these cool looking arcade machines that you can spend and get power ups i think yeah earn random power ups that can give you unlimited ammo increased fire rate stronger armor and more so that sounds exciting to me let me know what y'all think about that in the comments below i'm definitely looking forward to it all players will also be given enhanced jumping abilities wow that's that's actually crazy this mode will go live in the second ha ah, oh my gosh all right chat so we'll not be getting this in the first half bro that that's kind of tough because i was really looking forward to that but nonetheless we all know that it's coming so i guess that's something to look forward to all right moving on we have the 8-bit team deathmatch limited time mode so this is pretty much mp this is gonna be uh as you guys could see by the by the roadmap i did show it let me okay here we have it so it's gonna be bit vela which i'm pretty certain this is favela this is a map called favela that they kind of did everything over in an 8 bit kind of mode it's going to be called bit vela and that's where what we're going to have the team the 8 bit team death match on so looking forward to that even though i'm not like the biggest mp fan but i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna be rocking it out in mp just to try this mode out okay so next on the list we have the new features and events pick up arcade coins for extra ep and we have here a picture showcasing the new machine that will be seen scattered across the map and we also have this brand new operator skin that's looking so sick i'm pretty sure this is the operator skin that will be featured yes he's right here the titan alloy operator skin that will be featured in a lucky jar he's looking really cool i can't wait to cop him but yeah it says here seek out arcade coins in your battle royale matches to earn additional event points so you can unlock rewards faster all right that's pretty cool just pick the coins up and they randomly spawn on both verdanks oh on verdanks as well that's that's sick i'm looking forward to that because i don't play rebirth island much so verdanks is a plus okay it says here new mid-season events include akuma attack activation date is august 22nd to the august 28th featured rewards weapon blueprint the all right that's a pistol i'm not looking forward to that one but i guess whatever the cyber crash activation date is august 29th to september 4th featured rewards is a weapon blueprint the bass p dead silence okay that's pretty sick the mech event activation dates is september 5th to 11th featured rewards weapon blueprints sidewinder and this wait oh sidewinder second gear i thought it was a secondary weapon right there but a sidewinder second gear and last but not least we have the tenchi rise activation date september 12th to september 18th featured rewards is the operator cleo and her name is dispersion that's cool moving on to the updated keeps uh they only show one picture right here of a keep but we all saw on the roadmap that there are four additional keeps dropping we have the serenity 
Octavia, the Radiant Crusader, the Titan Alloy, which I just talked about, and the Gilded Devil. But let me know what y'all think about all those brand new keeps dropping in the game. And I'm pretty sure they're followed as order. This will be the first one on the first week. Second one here on the second week, Titan Alloy on the third week, and the Gilded Devil on the fourth week. And let's not forget that this game is cross progression, which means Modern Warfare 3, Warzone Mobile, and Warzone 3 is under one unified engine, which means we'll be sharing a lot of content alongside those three games. So this is what we can expect to drop in all three games. Let's hop right into it. Okay, so for the new weapons, we have a brand new spear, which is a melee weapon making its way into the game. I'm not the hugest fan of melee weapons, but some people uses them i guess so you know if you if you're looking forward to a spear then it's here okay but yeah let's move on we also have the torque 35 which is a launcher okay that looks like a bow and arrow looking forward to that as well that's that's pretty sick not gonna lie and of course we have new store offerings we have the crow which let me show you guys right here he's over here he's a tracer pack i don't know if you guys watch that series but if you do well i guess shout out to you <laughs> and we also have this right here which is looking so sick it looks like it has an octopus on its head mm, that, that that's kind of weird but i mean that it is looking she's looking cool we also have this brand new cat skin which if you guys are cat lovers you can go ahead and cop that and also this alien looking skin he's looking scary bro like Bro, if I see this in game, I'm, I'm not pushing him. I'm just not pushing him. But yeah, moving on. Here we have it. The Tracer Pack Crow Operator Bundle. As I said before, if you guys are a huge fan of this series, you can go ahead and purchase that bundle. Or, or if you're looking forward to it in general, then that's good on you. Moving on to the Tracer Pack Ghost Punk Pro Pack. Bro, that, that's kind of a tongue twister. The Ghost Punk Pro Pack. All right. So if you guys are huge Ghost fans, I guess you can cop that as well. Moving on to the Playmaker pack. All right, this character scene looks kind of sick. I don't know. I think I might cop this one. You know, I, I don't know, bro. Let's see. But yeah, guys, that's all the content you can expect to drop in Warzone Mobile. Below here is a bunch of Modern Warfare 3 slash Warzone 3 content. So yeah, I'm not going to cover that right here because this is a Warzone Mobile related video. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are eagerly waiting for all the bug fixes that we have and all the patch notes that we have in this season. So without further ado, without further ado let's hop right into it. Okay guys, so here we have the 3.9 patch notes for the brand new season. I'm just going to be going ahead and scan through this real quick because I don't want to make this too long. But yeah guys, let's just hop right into it. Alright guys, so we already touched on some of these gameplay features including the arcade hype game mode, the arcade coins, the new Bit Vela map and the new MP mode but we haven't touched on the new Verdansk map changes. Okay, so right here it says two POIs from the map cliffside base and the government building were previously revealed but only partially explorable. With season 5 reloaded, these two POIs have opened their doors to all players looking for a more close frantic and challenging close quarter combat so that's pretty sick okay moving on to quality of life tweaks to the login screen the navigation of the login screen has been streamlined and revised for better user experience okay HUD optimization the user hud has been tweaked slightly for consistency and increased readability that's pretty sick i love that the default setting for virtual sick behavior for the default auto and default manual presets has been set from analog to always sprint all right i think that's a w move because a lot of people don't even know about the always sprint feature which i'd highly recommend you guys go ahead well it's gonna be default now so i wouldn't say i'd highly recommend you guys turn that on when it's gonna be turned on automatically but yeah that's a w feature Moving on, shaders improvement, implemented new shaders optimization and fixes. This will fix various graphical errors and reduce the frequency of graphics related issues occurring. Players should now see a significant reduction in shaders compilation time, allowing them to get into the action faster than before. Okay, so for new in store and playlists, I've already touched on most of these. So you guys can go ahead and pause if you'd like, if you want to read it. But I'm just going to be skipping over to the bug fixes. All right, guys, so here we have it, the highly anticipated bug fixes, graphics and performance related fixes, fixed an issue that caused the main menu to flicker repeatedly for some players. W, I love that. Fix a variety of instances that could cause the game to crash when downloading content at startup. Another W. Bro, I feel like these are all going to be Ws. Fix an issue that caused players to be stuck at loading, completing, update in edge case scenarios. 
fixed an issue that would cause Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra to incorrectly cap the game's FPS regardless of setting. Fixed an issue where using gyroscope aiming would adversely affect frame rate. That's a major W for those who use gyroscope including myself so i'm looking forward to that w changes but yeah let's move on to the general fixes fixed an issue which causes the jack shadow titan conversion kit in gear up to appear as locked in certain instances even when unlocked fixed an issue that would cause cp to display at a zero balance even if players have cp players previously affected by this issue should already have their balance fixed fixed an issue preventing ads while reloading the reclaimer 18 weapon all right, I wasn't a huge fan of shotguns, but the Reclaimer 18 is a really good shotgun to use. So the fact that they fixed that bug is a major W as well. Fixed an issue that could cause the download icon to remain on a game mode after its required files have been already downloaded. Okay, fix an issue where reloading and shooting with the Phantom Soul blueprint will severely impact movement. Fix an issue with the gyroscope aiming that would cause the crosshair to move downwards without input from the player. That is a major W. For those who are still having issues with the gyroscope bug, that's your fix right there. I'm looking forward to test that out as well because I'm a gyroscope player. Fix an issue with the quartermaster suppressor attachment missing from a wide variety of weapons w bro i'm just saying w for everything at this point but yeah i was looking forward to this because i wanted to try the quartermaster suppressor on multiple weapons so the fact that they fixed that again is a major w <laughs> fix an issue with the apply all armor plate setting not working as intended when using a controller well i'm not a controller player so this doesn't apply to me but for all of my controller players out there shout out to you man but yeah guys i guess that is it for all the bug fixes let me know what y'all think about everything that we talked about today are you looking forward to the new season 5 reloaded update be sure to let me know that in the comments below don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed today's video and without further ado let's hop right into the gameplay On the roof, on the roof, on the roof. Yeah, but where did this dude go? You picked the wrong house, fool! Hey, hey! Don't let him. Bro, shy you sell me. me. Shit. Sh shy you sell me. <laughs> one more, one more. Okay. There's a vehicle. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. Are you someone's deep? Bro, I'm stuck on the... 
Ah, he goes up top. I'm coming for you! Got him. The most part is still... Yeah, yeah, most part is still there. Stop it. Get some help. Let me throw my... What the heck? <laughs> Let me throw my throwing knives right there. <laughs> Friendly UAV online. I do see like I have me. Friendly airstrike in the AO. Oh What's my it? gosh. Mortar support incoming. I was going to say... Uh, okay. Unmortar those dudes. Now. You're on the, on the buy? Get looked at, get looked at from here. Yeah, he's right here, he's right here. Where? I'm not right here. He's dead. Wait, what? He's inside. Oh, yo, yo, I got you. Oh, my fucking God, bro. Sniper on the roof right here in front of me, bro. Um. gonna get away. Guys, don't kill him. I wanna spend all my money. <laughs> there this dude. 60 grand, what the heck? This guy is buying, buying all the loadouts because he wants to spend all his money. <laughs> oh my god. GG, GG's. Guys, if you enjoyed, I want to make sure to drop a like and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Also, I hope you guys are very, very excited for the new season dropping today. Let's go.